Hey guys, GameBoy3800 once again, and today I have with me two computers. One is the Eleanor M17XR2, and the other is a Dell Precision um, M6400. Um, this is running a Quadro FX3700M. I thought it was a 2700, but I was wrong. Chrome, nothing on it. It took forever to, for me to get this to activate the windows because um, the product key label I had was so rubbed off I could barely see it and it took an, like a uh, 5 or 10 tries to finally get it to work. And this keyboard should be lighting up, I don't know why it's not. Just to show that, you know, Eleanor is not the only one with fancy lighting keyboards. But it would only show white. One thing that, that this computer does have over the M17 though is this. You can hit a little section on the touchpad. And then you can have four shortcuts to whatever programs you want. You can set it up in the mouse touchpad section. And also up here there's a button where you can just simply bring up the calculator. Because it's a, it's a workstation, you know? You're always going to be crunching numbers or something. But anyways, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because, one, even with the screen um, acting funny on the camera, it's also acting funny in real life. The line's going diagonally this way, as you can see there. Um, they're happening in real life. I don't know why it does that. Maybe it's the glass panel in front of the screen. But the M17 has the same sort of thing and it, do it doesn't do that. It just has the lines going up and down. At first I thought this was a 120 hertz, but no, it's only 60. But anyways, real reason, um, FX3700M is about the same power of a GTX 285M and wouldn't you know it this has a GTX 285M in it if it would ever focus there we go so we're gonna see just how well the FX can hold up also this has a um, Core 2 Extreme Q9300 2.53 gigahertz a much higher base speed, 1 gigahertz higher base speed, but this can turbo up to 2.8. And also it's hyper threaded and an i7. So, is it fair? No. But, you know, in video games, um, the processor doesn't really do much at all on the GPU. So, I have one game on both of these that are the same. I'm going to see which options are... Which so that I can make it um, exactly the same. Texture quality high, shader quality high, shadow resolution high, 16, 16, 16. I just have it right now so it will play at 60 FPS. If it'll load, there we go. I should get fraps running. Just to have the F FPS counter in the corner up there. Hello. Let's try the new one. Test. I'm just going to see how the opening cutscene thing works out. That's not going too well.
Alright, so this is finally loaded up. And, as you can see, it's running pretty smoothly right now. And right now I just have the other game getting set up. Oh, going crazy, going crazy. Get up, Daniel. We're going to do the same thing, but on this computer now. This one needs to be set up, and then I need to readjust the um, resolution because it's... Um... Right now it's not at the full resolution that it could be. So we're going to exit and just change the resolution to this exact same resolution as the M17X, which is 900p. And now we can launch the game. I'm going to close the M17X right now. Unplug my phone. I've already made the test thing. I don't have fraps enabled, but it should be pretty um, clear um, what it will do. Running the exact same settings as the M17X. I can say it's certainly loaded faster, I think. It seems to also be playing really well on this. And now we're gonna go crazy. No, uh, get up, Daniel. Come on, you can do it. All right, and that was the little test. They both played about the same, except I noticed a few screen tears happening on on this one here. Um, was VSync turned off? Did it have VSync enabled? Is there even an option? Let's see. Hmm. 
Hmm, no, I, I don't see any V-Sync stuff. I wonder why it was doing that. I did not mean to um, hit play. Yeah, anyways, as you can see, um, they both play about the same, even with this one having an i7. I guess the much higher base speed of this was um, what gave it an edge. But as you can see, they were both using about um, 80 to what like 70 to 90 percent of their power. More so to the 90 part on the Core 2 Quad. Or Core 2 Extreme if you want to be really specific. But yep. There you go. Also this ha this unit here has slower memory and 8 gigabytes of it. This has faster memory and 16 gigs of it. So. Take that for what it's worth. Um, overall, they're both good systems. They're both worth about the same nowadays. And I say, um, if you want to pick one up, then I go ahead. The Precision M6400 can come in orange or black, and the M17 XR2 can come in silver, black, or red. They both have full aluminum bodies, so they're both built like a tank. And. Um, the only thing you don't really get on this is the color changing key um, keyboard and everything, but you do, do get a really cool touchpad option that can um, bring shortcuts to the touchpad. And I guess um, another thing to draw this one down is that it gets really, really hot underneath, and that's why I have this one on the cooling pad and not the M17. Because uh, it's got a docking port underneath, and um, that seems to get stupidly hot, and the GPU is right in the center. And even though it's not doing anything now, it's really hot right here. Um, this GPU is on the left, on the M17, and it's warm, but it's definitely not hot like this. And also... This model has um, known GPU issues because of that heat. Um, it can die suddenly. Thankfully, though, getting a new 3700 or a 3800M uh, FX is only going to run you about $50 to repair it. Unlike this, if you want to repair it, it's probably going to be 100 or 200 Or if you want to throw in a better graphics card like a um, 670, then it will be whatever a 670 currently costs. So, that's a little comparison between the 3700M and the 285M graphics cards. Um, I wonder, how does Amnesia play at full 1200p? Because this is a RGB display. This could have an RGB display, but it doesn't have one yet. I'm probably going to get one once I upgrade the graphics card. Because this takes a standard graphics card, the M17, and easily upgradable. This just takes a select few, like the Quadro series. Yeah, it definitely dipped, I can tell. It's down to 30. But, hey, more than playable. Playing with one hand. So I'm not going to be great. Follow the dripping. Gonna go insane again pretty soon. After this turn, I think. Yep. I fell through the wall. Yay. Note to self. 
don't fall through walls. It's not fun. But yeah, totally playable, even at 1200p. Um, I don't know if the 285 could do that. It probably could, but I don't have a 1200p monitor to test. So, just gonna have to live with what you got, I guess. But, that's it. Thanks, Game Boy Out. See you next time.